Welcome to the Cook County file upload tutorial. The first thing we want to do is complete the Excel template. On your screen right now is a completed Excel template for the diesel um, fuel tax return. Now, um, we're going to use diesel as an example, but the same concepts work for the liquor tax return and the gasoline tax return. So when you complete a template, if you're completing a row, every field in that row must, must be populated. It cannot be left blank. If it's left blank, if a field is left blank, you will get an error message telling you to complete that field. So in this diesel template, Schedule A is completed with two rows, Schedule B, Schedule C, and Schedule D are also completed. So now that we have a completed template, we can now upload this template. So I'm going to close the Excel file. I'm going to go to the online portal, and right now I have a return already set up. So over here, you'll see that when file upload is activated for your company, you'll see the file upload tab, and you'll see new tabs you haven't seen before. Schedule A, Schedule B, Schedule C, and Schedule D for fuel tax returns. Um, that is when you'll see these tabs when the file upload feature is activated. So what you need to do is go to the file upload tab, find your file, it's an Excel file, click add file, and I have one here called tutorial. Click open. And depending on the size of your file, it may take a few seconds or a few minutes to upload. So you'll see a data uploaded successfully message. Click OK. One thing I would want to know is that the browser that I'm using is Chrome. You can use Chrome, you could use Microsoft Edge, uh, perhaps Firefox. Those are the three popular browsers. We recommend not using Internet Explorer. Internet, Ex Internet Explorer is being phased out pretty soon and um, it may cause um, problems if you use it. So now that the file is uploaded right here, Click next. You'll have the face of the return. Um, complete everything that, that you would uh, normally complete, except for your deductions, which is um, lines 4C, 4D, 4E, and 4F. Those lines correspond to the schedules here. You don't want to enter it on the face of the return because you want the template to do the work. It's going to put the totals on these lines. So what I'm going to do is complete the other lines, like beginning inventory. Gallons produced. Um, sales to the federal government, and so on. You get the idea. Don't complete the lines pertaining to the Excel template. And now you hit calculate. When you hit calculate, these lines 4C, 4D, 4E, and 4F will populate. All right. 
So as you can see, um, those lines did populate from the templates. Not only did these lines from the face of the return populate, you'll see that the template also populated these tabs. Schedule A, Schedule B, Schedule C, and Schedule D. Now all you need to do now is check your returns and see that text due is what you expect it to be. Um, after that, you can either save and exit, save and continue, or submit the return, or click calculate again if you need to make changes to the face of the return um, in any of the fields other than the um, deduction fields that I had already mentioned, or C before that. So you could submit the return if it's ready to be submitted. So that concludes the end of the tutorial. If you have any questions, you can either create a service request in the taxpayer portal or email revenue compliance at cookcountyil.gov or call 312-603-9082. Thank you very much.